Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing some cards I made using Pink and Main's May Crafty Courtyard Kit. The theme is Wear a Smile, and this kit has more of a masculine feel. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you real quick everything that's included. So there's always the information card that has a list of the products included and also the color palette. There are seven sheets of cardstock included, all eight and a half by 11 in size. There are two in white, and those are alcohol marker friendly. There's a brown, a bright green, a turquoise. There's a red that is pre-embossed, and then there's a nice light craft. And there is one specialty cardstock. This is a glitter paper in a pretty yellow. The kit includes a full 24 sheet 6x6 paper pad, and these are all double sided. And I am just going to flip through these really quick. Lots of fun designs, polka dots, there's a few different patterns on there, nice colors. These could work for masculine as well as feminine cards. I love this t shirt design. Matches nicely with the stamp set that's included in the kit, which you'll see later. And a few plaid designs as well. Now here is this stamp set, and this is really fun. I love this t-shirt. You could add some of these sentiments inside the t-shirt or use them independently. And there's also a coordinating die set. So you'll have the die for the t-shirt and then also this really fun smiley face. There is a stencil included in this fun geometric design. And then next there is a package of some wood pieces. So there's three different styles. There's stars, hearts, and then there's also the heart with a rainbow and a cloud. And these are always fun to decorate. You can paint them, you could add ink to them, so many different things. And there's also the package of sequins that coordinate with the pattern paper. There's a nice neutral twine in brown and white. There's an assortment of four different tags. There's a round one, there's just a craft, and then the last two are fabric. So those are really fun. And then there is a sheet of enamel dots, and these are nice, fun colors that match the pattern paper. And then there is a thing of tape. This is like a scotch tape, but it has a sentiment on there. So it has hello all the way across in white print. And then as always, there is a little collector button. This one is hello handsome. And then there are four A2 size envelopes. And then every kit always includes one of their storage bags. And I love these. They're nice for keeping other supplies or your leftover kit. So let's go ahead and get started with card number one. And I'm actually going to do duplicates of every card that I make. So I will have eight different designs and two of each. So for this first card, I'm using a sketch from OWH. This is number 192. And if you are interested in any of the sketches I show, I have all of that information on my coordinating blog post, and that link is provided in the description box below. I love this sketch. This is perfect for combining multiple pattern papers. So I have some polka dot paper for that upper piece. And on this card, I really wanted to showcase that t-shirt paper. Here, I was trying to rip off the tag that's on the back and it didn't really want to come off, so I'm just going to leave the rest of it there. Using some chevron paper for the bottom. And by adding all of the cardstock and matted layers, it really helps separate those busier patterns. So now before I adhere this rectangle piece with the t-shirt, I'm going to add some scrap cardstock on the upper and lower portion of the back side. That way it stays nice and even on the card and there isn't that noticeable dip from that red cardstock. I've already gone and stamped out the sentiment. I used some brown ink and this is looking good with the mustache. I stamped this on an oval die cut and just layered it on some of that brown cardstock. And now I'm going to pull out the sequins just for a little finishing touch. And I'm selecting just the gold sequins. And I'm just going to adhere these using some small glue dots. And these are really staticky, so they keep sticking to my fingers. And then of course the glue dot keeps sticking to my fingers as well. So once I get those detached from my fingers, there is the finished card. I love that Pink and Main decided to release a kit that was more on the masculine side. And I will have a link provided in the description box. Since this is May's kit, 
you can purchase it individually without signing up for a subscription. So now moving on to the second design, I'm using a sketch from Sketch Saturday. This is number 600. I selected this pretty plaid paper for the background and then I'm adding this light tone on tone polka dot paper for that smaller rectangle piece, layering all of this in some turquoise cardstock. And this is cardstock from my stash. Since I add so many layers to my cards, I do bring in extra cardstock. For that strip going across the card, I'm just using the solid cardstock. If I used one of the pattern papers, I think it would have been too busy. I'm going to add some of the twine from the kit and normally I would wrap this twine all the way around the card but I really was trying to save on the twine so I would have enough for all of my cards. So instead I just cut those smaller pieces, adhered the back using a piece of score tape and then I do have the one extra piece cut out so I will be tying a bow later. First I'm going to put my card front onto a card base. And now I'll just slip that piece of twine underneath the others and I'll tie that later once I decide where I want the placement. Next I'm going to work on the image and sentiment. I have a stitched tag die. This is from Pink and Main. And I'm stamping out the sentiment using a turquoise color. So I'm masking off the sun since I don't want that in the teal color. So I have it in my mini misty since I knew I'd have to ink this up a couple times to get a nice solid impression. Now for the sun, I've gone ahead and stamped this out on some yellow cardstock, and I'm just going to do a quick fussy cut, and I did speed this part up quite a bit. This image would be very simple to color, but since I rarely ever color, I thought it would be fun to still add that nice pop of yellow just with some scrap cardstock. And now just to give it a nice clean edge, I'm using a black marker and just going along that outside. And then I'll use some liquid adhesive to adhere it above the sentiment. This yellow cardstock matches so nicely with the pattern paper. And then always trying to keep everything nice and level on my card. I'm adding some various layers to the back of this tag. So I put a piece of cardstock on the very top portion. And now I do want to pop this up using some foam dimensional tape. And since it is going over the twine, I want to make sure to not add any of the foam tape on top of the twine because then there'll be an extra little bump there. So I just keep holding the tag back onto my card, checking to see where I need to add more foam tape. Once I have all of the backing removed from the tape, I can attach that tag to my card. And now I'll just tie a quick bow putting it on the right hand side of that image and sentiment. And now just to finish off the card, I'm going to add a couple of the sequins, this time just using the green color. And I'll add three of them in a row to the right hand side of this green polka dot paper. I love how this one turned out. I think this is my favorite card, but do let me know which card is your favorite. So there are the finished cards. So now moving on to card number three. For this card, I'm going to use the t-shirt stamp and I'm going to stamp it directly onto this stripe pattern paper. So I am using my Misty. I want to make sure to get a nice solid impression. And I did need to stamp this multiple times. It kept missing part of the sleeve. The pattern paper has a slight gloss feel to it. So after I stamped this, I wanted to make sure that ink wasn't going to smear. So I'm just going to add some clear embossing powder. That way I can heat set it and it'll add a nice embossed detail. And that paper did slip away from me. You can see that nice black color popping out again. Now I could fussy cut this out so it would be right against that black edge, but I'm going to use the dye that's included in the kit and it will have that slight border. So you're still going to see some of that striped paper along the outside, but I think it still looks just fine. For the background, I'm using the pattern paper that has sentiments all over it. And then I'm just adding one strip of this polka dot paper across the card. Go ahead and put this panel on some cardstock. And this is a dark green cardstock from my stash. I thought it'd be fun to add this smiley face to the t-shirt. I cut it out using the glitter paper that's included in the kit. 
And since I didn't want those stripes to come through the eyes and the smile, I just put a white circle die cut on the back side before adhering it to the t-shirt. Next, I cut out a large circle die cut out of some craft cardstock. And just to change the color so it matches nicer on the card, I'm adding some dark green ink. And I use Pink and Main's ergonomic blending brush to add the ink. I'm gonna go ahead and put my card front onto a card base. And before I attach that large circle, I'm gonna put some scrap cardstock on that upper portion of the circle just to keep it nice and level. I had first cut out the circle using one of Pink and Main's stitch circle dies, but it was a little too small to fit the size of the t-shirt. So then I just went with one of my standard circle dies instead. I'm gonna pop up this t-shirt using some foam dimensional tape. Make sure to get good coverage on the back so it doesn't sag down on any part. And then I'll adhere it to the card and I'm putting it at a slight angle. And then I'm gonna add that small banner in the upper right hand corner and I just cut this out of some of that same green cardstock. And then to finish off the card, I'm gonna attach a couple of these wood stars, but I didn't want them in the plain color, so I'm gonna add some ink. This is one of Pink and Main's blue inks. And I just press them directly onto the ink pad, let those dry for a little bit, and then I'll adhere them to the card using some liquid adhesive. So there is my finished card, and this one's so fun. I'm not sure if the glitter card stock takes away from the masculine look, but I still like how it turned out. So now moving on to the next set of cards. This is a sketch from Mojo Monday. It's number 538. I selected the red polka dot paper for the background, and then also this pattern paper that has red in the background and blue crowns all over it. So I'm using that for the wider strip on the card, and I'm just layering some of the pieces in the red cardstock and then some in that turquoise color. I'll add the scrap cardstock on the outside pieces of this strip that goes across the card. I think overall this card is fairly clean. I did decide to add just a few extra little elements to go beyond the design of the sketch. That's one thing I love about using card sketches. You can follow them exactly, or you can use them for inspiration and then add your own little touches. For the sentiment, I've already gone ahead and stamped this out. It's got the crown and it's, it's your day, you deserve the royal treatment. So I have it on some white cardstock, layering it on that same turquoise cardstock. And then for those extra little touches, I'm adding this scallop border to the top of the card. And I didn't use a border die cut. Instead, I used Pink and Main's reverse scalloped rectangle frame. The largest die in the set is wide enough to make that border on the top of the card. And then I'm also adding just this thin piece of cardstock. I'm gonna put that on top. And again, I did add those extra little layers. So it gets a little trickier when the paper is so thin, but it still worked out fine and then I'll attach that scallop border and then just trim off the extra. So I'll put my card front onto a card base and then just one final finishing touch, I'm gonna use a few of the enamel dots. I just put two of them in the lower left-hand corner. And there is the card all finished. So now moving on to the next set of cards, I'm using a card sketch from MFT. This is number 489. I'm using some polka dot paper for the background, and then this heart paper with the rainbow and the cloud is gonna be this smaller rectangle piece. I'm gonna layer all of this in that turquoise cardstock, and then I also use that same cardstock for these thin strips that go on the left-hand side of the card. I went over the edge just a little bit, so I trimmed those off with my scissors. And then before adhering this rainbow paper, I'll add that scrap cardstock to the right hand side. And that first piece wasn't quite wide enough, so I'm just going to add one more. This is a great way to use up some of those cardstock scraps. 
I don't save all of my leftover cardstock, just the larger pieces, but while I'm working on a kit or a paper pad, I do grab those small scraps while I have them out on my craft table. So I'm gonna add some twine to the top of the card, doing the same as before, just cutting the two pieces, and then I'll adhere them to the back with some score tape. I'm gonna have one more piece cut out so I can tie a bow. First, I'll attach my card front onto a card base, and I do use a lot of ATG tape. Since I donate the majority of my cards, I wanna make sure they're not going to fall apart for the recipients. So I'll go ahead and tie my bow, putting it on the left-hand side of the card. And now for a little extra embellishment, I'm gonna use the heart that has the rainbow and the cloud, and I am going to color. This is something I don't do very often since it bothers my eyes, but I thought I could get away with just this tiny little heart. So I'm using some Copic markers and trying to match the colors in that pattern paper. For this sentiment on my card, I'm gonna use the roll of tape that's included in the kit that has hello all across it in white. And I'm just gonna attach this on some red cardstock so you'll be able to read that sentiment. Just cut off the ends and then just wrap it around the back of that cardstock. I had a little bit of the tape on the bottom portion. I think I cut that cardstock a little too short, so I just trimmed that off with my scissors. Then I'll add a small scrap of cardstock to the left hand side of the sentiment. And then I did use a foam square on the right hand side since there was a little more dimension between the two pieces. And then before I adhere the heart, I'm also gonna put that scrap piece of cardstock on the upper area since it's gonna go over that sentiment. I'm just always trying to keep everything nice and level on the card. So there are the finished cards, and I think this one turned out really fun as well. Now moving on to the next set of cards. For this card, I won't be using a card sketch. I am gonna use the stencil that's included in the kit. So I have some white cardstock and I'm just gonna tape the stencil on. I'm using some Distress Oxide ink in the Peacock Feather color and also Pink and Main's Ergonomic Blending Brush. And I'm just doing a very light ink blending on the background. I'm trying to put a little more in that lower right-hand corner. And then I'll use the leftover ink on the brush and just add it to the background so there's a little more color. And next, I'm going to stamp out the sentiment. I'm gonna put this in my mini Misty. Did wanna add just a little more ink in that lower right-hand corner. And I'm using the sentiment, you are always in my heart. I'm just gonna stamp that using some black ink. Had to ink it up several times, to make sure I got a nice solid impression. And then I'm gonna cut out this piece using a stitched rectangle die by Pink and Main. And then I'm gonna layer this panel with two different colors of cardstock. So I have a red and then also that turquoise. And I am gonna use some liquid adhesive to adhere this piece. Just wanna make sure it stays put. Sometimes when you use the stitch dies, it tends to warp slightly at the edges. So I'll go ahead and attach my card front onto a card base. So this card has lots of layers, but overall is a very simple design. So I'm gonna use some more of the wood pieces, this time the heart. So I have two of them and I'm just inking them in red. And instead of getting my fingers all red and inky, I decided to just lay the wood pieces on some scrap paper and then just press the ink pad on top of those wood pieces. And then to adhere the hearts to my card, I'm just using some liquid adhesive and putting them on both sides of the sentiment. I got a little extra liquid adhesive, so I just wipe that away with that scrap card stock. Now just to finish off the card, I'm gonna add some of the enamel dots just in that teal color. So there are my finished cards. Now moving on to my next set of cards. This sketch I'm using is by Freshly Made Sketches. This is number 400. I have some striped paper and then also some brown polka dot paper. I'm just gonna layer that in some brown cardstock. And I could have cut the whole back panel using this striped paper, but 
but I thought I'd save some of that pattern paper and instead just cut these thin strips. I think they're about three-fourths of an inch wide since the majority of it is going to be covered up by this polka dot paper. So I'll go ahead and put my card front onto a card base. This again is a very simple design. I've stamped out the sentiment just to save on time. This is Hello Handsome. Just layering that in some brown cardstock. And then just to add a little extra detail, I'm using one of the stamps. Just stamp that using some green ink and just put that around the sentiment. And instead of adhering this square in the center, I'm going to offset it to the left. And then add a little extra detail just using some solid cardstock. I cut out these thin strips in two different widths. I'm going to add some scrap cardstock on the ends of this teal. Then I'll adhere it underneath the sentiment. And then I'll add liquid adhesive to the red piece and adhere it right on top of that teal. I think it really helps bring out those colors in the background. And then to finish off the card, I'm adding three of the green enamel dots on the right hand side. So there are my finished cards. Now moving on to my final set of cards. For the background paper, I'm using some of the houndstooth pattern paper and then also just this small piece of some green tone-on-tone -tone polka dot paper. I'm going to layer all of this using this dark green cardstock. Then I also have some craft cardstock just to add a little more detail. I'll attach that pattern paper on the craft cardstock first and then adhere it to this green cardstock. You can see I have a circle cut out of the background. I'm going to add that piece later. I wanted to make sure I had enough of that green cardstock since I think I only had two or three pieces in my craft room. Next, I'm going to add some more of the twine, and this does finish off the twine. I used every last bit other than those little tiny scraps. I wrapped two pieces around the top, adhere it to the back using some score tape. I'll put my card front onto a card base. And since there's so many layers on the card, you won't notice that dip from where that circle is cut out of the background. So here's where I'm using that green circle die cut. And I also have a white circle die cut. And I wanted to add a little more color to it. So I'm just using the leftover ink that was on the brush. This is that forest moss color. And then I'll stamp the sentiment using some brown ink, although it looks more black on the card. This is a fun sentiment since it has the sign language for I love you. I'll just use some liquid adhesive to adhere it to that green circle die cut. And I'll add just that little scrap of cardstock on the left hand side of that circle since it goes off of that banner. I'll adhere it to the card using some liquid adhesive. So now that I have the sentiment in place, I can tie the bow. I usually wait because sometimes I'm not sure where I'm going to place the sentiment and I don't want to put the bow on the wrong side. I like to keep everything nice and balanced. And now to finish off the card, I'm just going to add two of the enamel dots in that lower left hand corner. And I did make the second card, although I didn't have any more of that dark green houndstooth paper, so I used the lighter green instead. Now here's just a quick recap of the 16 cards I made using Pink and Main's May 2020 subscription box. The theme is Wear a Smile, and this is such a fun kit. It has more of a masculine feel to it. I think you could still easily make some feminine cards as well. Since this kit is from last month, it is now being sold individually. You don't have to sign up for a subscription to purchase the kit. I have provided a link in the description box if you are interested in this kit or any of the other products that I used. And I'll also provide a link for the June kit, which is an ocean themed kit and looks really pretty. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.